thank you everybody thank you everyone and tonight I'm going to share this presentation about market structure but before we keep going about the market structure we need to find some details about the broker event binary.com okay so do you know what the volatilities are what this broker is doing what this market is about what are the volatilities 10 25 50 75 and 100 at binary.com i'm not really talking about when this broker started how who founded it and what this is all about i'm just talking about what the market which we are going to focus on it what we are going to learn what we are going to trade on we need to find what the volatilities are first volatility 10 25 50, 75, 100, all of those synthetic indices are a bro broader glass of simulated markets and continued volatility indices. There are three types of synthetic indices available on MT5. Volatility indices, crash boom indices, and they crash and boom together, they are one. And also step indices. There are also more types of volatility indices on MT5 as well as volatility 10, 25, 50, 75, and 100 indices. On binary.com, this broker offers the HF volatility indices. The HF stands for high frequency. And also, as the name suggests, this move is faster. It's like the money, which we call Nasdaq in Forex. It moves faster the HF is high frequency so volatility indices also have a base of one tick every two seconds that means tickets are each minimum move of the index the index market the high frequency or HF volatility indices have also a base of two ticks per second which is said that four times the frequency these are over it as HF volatility at 10, 50, and also 100 indices. The increase in number in the volatility indices refers to the increase in volatility of the index. To exercise this, and all the markets available, like the forex, commodities, every market in the broker from MT5 account, the trader clicks on the symbol tab, which brings up all the markets on the platform like this when you wanted to find the market go on your mt5 or, or meta trader then go to the view then say market watch okay as you see you you can see all the volatility which i'm just talking about in the market these are the ones which i am now explaining you need to find more more and more about this because you want to buy you want to sell you will either follow the demanding or the supplying. You will either do a sell order or buy order. But what are you doing? You need to know which market are you working with? Which market are you just doing a trade on? What this market is about? That's what I'm just talking about. Because all the new traders, those who are already from forex or any other market they think that this is still something that they cannot really make a money or profit but i hope in this course you will find more more details about binary broker and how you can work on synthetic indices this is profitable profitable market i hope you will enjoy and in more and more money let us talk about let us talk about what we call the heater and shooters in market we see the price action sometimes the price action let me show you on the chart you see you see here more candles i did not really know that you have any experience of of candle information or candle movement or any but this time i'm just talking about that the market can make movement it can make a movement so on that movement we always see a price that's moving down or moving up moving down or moving up moving down or moving up that is what we call the price action the price action and sometimes it goes up 
it goes down. So we need to find when do we make entry. When do we make entry? And how can we make entry? That are the questions. But before that, we have to know what we call what we call the pattern and how the volatilities always do work. We have many, many or more volatilities like the 10, 25, 50, 75, 100 in binary.com, but they have behaviors, different behaviors. In this market, you will find all of those volatilities, but they have different behaviors. So let us talk about one of them, like the 75 or boom or crash or 10 or which one so let us select the 75 okay let me have a board in 75 whenever whenever this market this market 75 makes movement it always go up it always go up it always go up so the behaviors of 75 is always up train is always up train is always up train so we we need to find the behaviors of 75 is always up train but we we sometimes can have sell or buy in here we have some decrease or increase in here we have decrease and in here we have increase and in here we have decrease okay in here we have decrease and in here we have increase so anytime you get a decrease that means you get a signal which is a sell anytime you get an increase you get a signal which is a buy so the behaviors of 75 is always is always uptrend is always uptrend so that's what i'm just talking about that every volatility has its own behavior like uh l let me talk about hf hf which i've already explained it hf indices or hf volatilities they always have the zigzag they always have the zigzag behavior like this zigzag okay it always has the zigzag behaviors this the hf the high frequency volatilities they always move up with the same they always they always move up till to the resistance and down till to the support they always up down up down up down they always has that behavior which is the sixer okay the hf the hf the high frequency volatilities and also the boom and crash they also has that way but they are different in the market when we do some trading or some strategies that all behaviors are not the same on uh, synthetic indices so let us let us let us do what we call uh, how volatilities always go they always go up because all all volatilities except boom and crash they always go up up they always go up so what are the most behaviors of all volatilities okay what are the most behaviors in in way of this market or every market I'm not just talking about only volatilities on binary.com but every market in the in the world like the forex commodities or digital market the price always moves and the footprint of the price that is what we call a uh, pattern so all volatilities have a two buttons they always move the way that I'm just explaining okay volatility as they always have the M button or W button the M button or the W button I mean 
the brace move is like this. It goes up, 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 and then down, and then. So whenever you see like this pattern, the market will go. The market will go up. So at that time, you have a buy signal. Whenever you have a W pattern, then the market will go down, and you have a sell signal. So all VIX. In short form of volatility, yes, we say fix. All fix. They always have M button and W button. So these are the basic. When you are a beginner, when you are someone who's starting learning about volatilities, those are the things which you need to know first. So all volatilities go up. All fix go up their behaviors are uptrend and also uh, this market of fix it always shows us M button and W pattern it always shows us M pattern and W pattern let me show you some exp examples okay okay let me turn this into 1 or oh, oh, 15 minutes so as you see the market is up that's why volatilities always go up you see volatilities always go up okay and what you see here is W button as you see the W button let me show you as a line you see here you see from here to here and then what are you expecting now as you see the market snow moving okay here 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 so what are you expecting now you are expecting the market will go will go down okay it will go down when this when this bullish engulfing finish it then the second direction will be down but almost the fix go up up almost go and check on trading view you can see okay another 75 you see here volatility 75 okay you see always fix go up up train okay what do you see that the fix always go up okay Fix always has a pattern, which I've already told you, M button and W button. Whenever you see a button like this, let me draw it, a button like this, what do you see? You have some, some double tops, and you have here, and some double buttons, here here with me double tops and double buttons at that time the market will go down and on here the market will go up like that way the market will have also hitters and shoulders but almost the volatility yes, they always have this same the shape or this pattern like you see here I already told you the market is now is now W button and then it will go down okay let me show you here as a line okay as you see the market is no make is no formula M button so when this bearish candle finishes then it will go up like you see so it's now you see the M button M button I hope that's really very very exciting and understandable so in here the in here we have sorry let me erase clean it in here we have a header and shoulders sometimes when the market makes some some uh, consolidation or ranging 
I mean when there is no genesis or when there is no time to trade on the market or when you see more more reflections of price action then okay then you see some examples that will show you that there can be some pattern reversals or you will see that the market will reverse it will make some break breakouts that breakouts will show you a way that you can have a signal that you can have a chance on the, on the market but sometimes you may encounter some loses if you don't know the right point the right point the right time to enter the market so this is I mean the header and shoulders one of my favorite reversal patterns to trade if you want to do trading you must have something that will make you very exciting doing this so the head and shoulders is one of the most reliable chart patterns having accuracy of almost 90 percent and generating profits for the sales it's one of the most recognized of all the chart patterns it does not thank you thank you for participating also it doesn't take uh session a trading a to spot one forming on a chart they don't even uh, come around often but when they do the profits can be uh, considerable the hit and shoot the button can develop over the futurally and at any time because the time frame sometimes when a time frame uh, reflects or be an opposite of the other one that will make you something that you cannot take any decision to do on that point of entry you need to find something that will give you confirmation of how you can do or how you can take a trade this is one of the most major reason why this button has a potential to make you profits every single day some question is I often get uh, about in entries the entries like you need when do you want to enter a trade how do you want it to place a trade objective exits sometimes when you when you do some trades that you are not really uh, aware of how you did it you need something that will make you in objective exits and stop loses also but don't worry now I will show you most of the important ways that you can make entries on volatilities I'm going to show you everything you need to know to make money from this reversal buttons great and great and great let us get started what is a hit and shooter button the best equation that will be is here what really qualifies as a hit and shoulders in market let us begin with the illustration below as you see the picture so okay as you see here we have as I already told you we have here some signs that some movement makes the market from barrier uptrend from a barrier uptrend this is the uptrend market from blow 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 and we see that the market is now making some rejections so basically we need to understand the shooters and hitters but for that when you are a beginner you need to find where the shooters are you need to find where the trends are where the market is and also how volatilities are and we need to also have uh, an account like the real account or demo account on binary.com hello Brenda uh, hi uh you said all vx vix um, uh, yeah i can hear you i can uh, hear you brain okay. <coughs> okay i'm saying all vix always have w for downtrend next yeah and m for up, 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 up. So it's always the case for all of them. Yeah, they always go up, up. 
does that uh, also imply that the boom and crash as well follow that suit or is just for the BX? Okay, the boom and crash, they are the same. They are the same. They always go up. All VIX, all VIX, the boom and crash, they are all in DZs. These are all in these. In this market, always go up train. Upward. Okay. Okay, thank you. Well noted. Okay, how can how okay what is the what is the real time that we can start to zoom every night? <laughs> thinking it's just a challenge because we will all have different times okay. so the best is same time those that will be able to join can join then you can record then for those that can watch the recorded but it will be a challenge for them because they won't have the real experience real time experience that we are having like now I can I'm able to ask a, a question immediately so that will be a challenge for them so let's maintain this for now. I believe it's okay. I may, I am also busy that time, but I have to. Obviously, I'm interested in learning. I have to make time for it. Because if you need to, uh, if you want to learn, you need to make time for anything. And I want to learn this, so I'll be busy, but I'll still be listening and following. So for now, I think this time is okay. It's recorded. Those that want to. Uh, listen to it, we'll listen to it. Then maybe with time we can try and see how we reshape the program. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. And then try uh, to to encourage them, all your friends and everybody who is interested to learn about, about it. And I am here to help everyone. Yeah. Welcome. I see that Sarah mm -hmm. Ahmed she is now having a network problem. She's not really able to open the yes. microphone. She's she cannot share everything. Yes, uh, w yes, where she is, it's really a bad network area. So for her, it's a bit of a challenge. So for her, from time to time, I'll personally take her through. When she's able to, what I learn, I'll be able to transfer to her because she's a close friend of mine okay 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 no problem no problem so from now from from this time the presentation will continue and tomorrow night i will start at the same time like tonight and we will be discussing everything yes. on whatsapp group and you can share every question that you interest that you interest and try yes. to communicate with every person who is in the group and then teach them how they can also uh, join in the Zoom because you know some people uh, there are some people those who cannot join in the Zoom yeah I will orient them on how to join in using Zoom before time tomorrow yeah 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 that's really good this market has this, has a great opportunities and I hope if you if you learn you will never invest in any other scheme projects and I hope as I am really happy you will also be a happy Joe, thank you so much for your time and your patience I'm, I'm really grateful even on behalf of everyone else, I think here in my country, I think this is a great opportunity for us. Thank you so much for taking your time. You're welcome. Take us through. Second, let me advise you, if you are new, if you want to learn, if you wanted to work on trading, you need to have laptop, you need to have also a mobile, which you are now on Zoom. If you don't have a laptop or computer, then it will be very difficult to make market analysis. So if you wanted to make market okay. analysis, you need to have a computer, a laptop, 
or busy as you know because this will make you okay. very very simple I want to show you real thing I want to show you I want to teach okay. you the way that I do trading and then this will be also a very very skill a very good skill which you can survive for your lifetime so if you wanted to learn yeah okay get ready for your laptop and then uh -huh. when you prepare your laptop then I will show you step by step and we will start okay. from from uh, the list which I have shared with you this uh, this morning and I'm ready to teach everybody for free this course is for free I will be teaching you um, till two or three months till three or two months wow. and it's totally for free you can ask me every question wow. and I'm ready here to help every person I always do trading on this and this is a live trading I'm not really uh, doing some schemes I'm not really collecting money from anyone I'm here to help every person so hopefully you can ask every question if you're ready let us introduce to one another I'm Abdi uh, Abdi Wahab but people call me Bulshawi Bulshawi here in my country and I have also a friend of mine those who are all around the world they also call me Bulshawi I I am a full-time trader on binary.com where I always get a uh, huge money and I'm so happy to be your mentor I'm so happy to teach you about this broker and I'm really happy to be with you too so let us learn one another and we will start everything about the, this broker this is this is really very giving me exciting to be mentor and I'm so happy yeah hello Dulgarnain Dulgarnain oh yeah I see hello we cannot hear you Steven we cannot hear Rivo hello Rivo Steven is my elder brother by Wha the way wow I hope he has a network problem I think so, but I will make him catch up, so I'll take him through aside this meeting. Okay, okay. Guys, we have this market. You see his tab index, boom, crash, and also HF, the high frequency volatility, like 10, 50, or 100. This one's the HF volatility. As I explained it earlier, they are moving fast. They move fast. And we need them how we can benefit, how we can get a profit. And we also need how we can make analysis on all volatilities, on all in this market. I have more strategies. Okay. Whenever you see the chart is like this, we can judge the way it looks like. So let us go on chart and then click properties. And even we can do right click on, on the chart and then select the properties. Two ways that you can change. And then we have to do something better. So, but before doing that, we have the bar charity. This is the chart, is a bar charity. We have to change in candle chart, okay? go over there and click on the candlesticks and then you will see that we are now selecting the candle chart and the candlesticks does not really look like a good so we need to have uh, a good form or good structure or good look or good views so we need to change the color so right click on everywhere on the chart like here and then click properties and then we have here probabilities of volatility 75 
So if we change the color of of this of these volatilities, that does not mean that we are changing all of the volatilities. We are only changing one of the volatilities or in this market. So let us go on chart tab and then here we see the background color is black. So we have to change okay. We have to change the foreground like it's here, you see it's white. We can change it if we want or we can also leave it. So now we are going to change the columns. We have the grid. The grid is here. Okay. We have the grid here. The columns, the the horizontal vertical columns. Now we can release or we can also change. Let me change it. So I have to select the black color because I want the grids will all disappear like you see here if I change the color of the grid into this way it will look like like this so I have to change it into black and I have here the candles which I am always flowing the price action of the market so as you know the colors has no any different we can have the black color or we can have the white color but almost every trader use a color so you can use for your own color in here you can see the bull candle I always use the green the green or green line or line green and I always use the beer candle on uh, red red as you see so we have shadows we have shadows on every every candle so the shadows are different and they have different colors so we can also call the bar ups or the bar down so every bar up has it has its own color but let us make the color with is the same on each color like the bullish con candle or the bearish candle the bearish candle has a green color and the bullish candle has a red co candle so now okay so now as you see the British candle has red candle so it will have the bar down candle and then I have to change the shadow into red candle okay and then you see it change it and as you see the bar up which is the shadow of the bullish candle it has a red candle but I can change the line into other or foresty green like you see now it has a different green color so as you see I change it now and you can see that we have that we have a nice look of the candles the the bullish candle and the bearish candle in here I have this trade already more than one day or two days so uh, the market make reversing and then I did not still uh, close it because the account has a big money and I know that it will reverse so there's no way to close this order I have to wait it it cannot also have a much or more money that I will lose in this market because the the lot size is so so small I'm not really scared of anything it can go up f for more bibs or more vibes but it will reverse and come down and also go down so I'm not worrying this trade was already placed not now so when you see this the second thing is the second thing when you are a beginner you need is to know how you can add some of the tools on MT5 or the meta trader like the lines like the time frame or like also the toolbox how you also close the trades when you use on uh, when you use the laptop or computer I will also explain everything on the mobile and that's also very exciting because some some most of the people they do not have a computer or laptop so they always use a smartphone and they wanted to know how they can blaze how can they how they can make analysis on the mobile there is also a very very simple ways that you can also trade on your mobile no matter 
no problem I will show you and record more videos to you as I've already done then on other language but not in English I have been recording videos with other language not in English but I can also do it the same I have been doing already and you will also understand most of the lessons or training so now the second thing is how can you add the tools it's simple go to the view and then you can see toolbars and then you have this thunder I remove it this thunder where you can see how we can uh, change the chart okay how we can change the candle chart uh, or any other tools okay so here we have the drawings as we see here in the line studies okay we don't have also in here the time frames okay toolbars so we remove it whenever you see that your chart is like that you don't need to worry anything go on view and then go on toolbars select each and every one each one also lines okay time frame and that's very exciting you see everything came back and then you can change okay you can zoom zoom in and zoom out zoom in and zoom out you can see okay and you can see the time frame which you always look for the uh, the ratio or the deviation of the market how the market moves and okay where do you think the market will go the momentum everything the signal detection you need to know how the time frames also work and that's very 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 good so any time any time when you are a beginner of lane in trading you need to find two things what the two things are first find the trend of the market first find the trend of the market but before you make entry you have to find the trend of the market second which time frame is good for having a good confirmation of market trend okay whenever you wanted to have a good time frame for detecting the right trend of a market is one hour and four hours okay whenever you wanted to find the trend of a market select one hour and then find that the market is now that the market is now uptrend okay you see the market is uptrend in here the price we are not we are not looking at the back okay where the market came from we're looking for where the market is going now it's going uptrend now but in you hold in you hold us that like uh, five or three you have to find you have to find uh, a bigger time frame a bigger time frame like four hour okay okay on four hour you see that the market is uptrend now okay okay like one day you see the market is uptrend right okay and that's why I said all fix or all volatilities they always go up they always go up so that's why I said I am sure that this market will come down and you see that the market is over there and it can come like here after one or two days I'm not worrying now because it it was there and it came down 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 and I'm not worrying that the market will go up it will go down I'm really hundred percent sure so whenever you wanted to find the market trend use like the <coughs> bigger time frame like one hour for all or one day for signal detection when you want to find a signal when market move is some downs or some ups I mean the market always come the price action the price movement always come with what we call the decrease or increase where market goes up and where, where market goes down so that times when we wanted to make some entries we need to find a detection of a signal like the time frame which we always use for finding the right direction which we can detect a signal okay we always use detecting a signal for one hour or 
10 minutes or 10 minutes whenever you see the 10 minutes and one hour same like the up train and down train because when when you have here I don't know if you see everything or even I don't know that I'm explaining everything only me okay thank you okay so now the one hour and on the one hour let us let us have up train the market is up train and in here we see this up train is all has already made some breakouts like here like here like here okay it made breakouts here you see because when when the market make move is from here to up up it breaks this line and then it goes up 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 so still the market is up train so now we cannot have some detections of a signal when the market breaks out so we need to wait so as you see already I made entry here I wait 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 and then it makes some movies movies down I mean some decrease and then I into sell at that moment but whenever it came not the not here okay okay I made entry here you see when you when I got this candle which is uh, this the doji candle it performed that the market will go down but some reverse have been it from here and then the market goes up 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 and nothing back yet you see nothing it did not came back yet you see it's moving moving so at that moment that was not my fault because the market makes some reverse and get into consolidation time as you see here the market makes some consolidations from here to here from here to here and then this time is the only time that the market tries to make some movement as it is going to find the right direction and the right direction this market will get is downtrend it will go down okay somebody is trying to draw somebody is trying to draw on okay so now so now the right time to get a to make entry or to get a signal is 5 minutes and 15 minutes because the 30 minutes and 1 minute they are like the same time frame which we always find detecting a train when we wanted to detect a train the smaller time frame is 30 minutes next is 1 hour and next is 4 hour so how or where we can make entries or detecting some of our uh, signals we have to use entry when we wanted to make entry on five minutes and then zoom out it okay okay that's how we wanted to make entry so as you see as already told you the market may make some movement like here okay sorry like here okay let me start from that place in here you see it makes some decrease and the market also makes some increase and the market also makes some decrease so anytime the market may makes any movement 
is showing that the button is gonna change in, into M or W as I already explained it no worries you can find how buttons can also change your behavior of your behavior with the market so now we can see how I make the design in here okay no worry auto scroll you see here okay the market makes some movement like that way okay don't worry so that is the button how the market move make movies and then okay whenever the market has some decrease you have a way that you can find a signal which is a sell okay at this time you have a way that you can find a signal but which time frame is good for finding a profitable time frame when you want to get a signal it's 15 minutes or 5 minutes in volatility I'm not talking about the forex market I'm talking about the indices market especially the volatilities whenever you want to find a signal after when you get the right trend of the market is 5 or 15 minutes and it's also the time frame which you will use to make entries on this market remember you will not you will not really do on entry or trade oh see the day It was time and come higher. My castle. Remember, my can't die. Higher work here and go to the ground for the day. Okay, So remember, I am going to tell you, okay, I hope it is the last day of the presentation, but I'm going to tell you something very good. You cannot make entry, or you cannot get a signal, or you cannot also do a trade when you don't have the right trend of the market. The trend is the direction, because market makes movement, and that directional movement it will be uptrend or downtrend the market will have three conditions the market will have three conditions okay okay the market will have three conditions conditions one for uptrend market two for downtrend downtrend market and three ranging market market or consolidation consolidation so the market can can also be on that state uptrend downtrend and ranging so the market states can be those three conditions so whenever you see the market is uptrend then you can see that the market now okay okay but he's coming okay so whenever you see that the market has an uptrend state, sorry. Okay. 
Whenever you see the market has uptrend, then the most signal is that you are going to find is a buy signal. Because when you see the signal right now, this signal here, from this candle to here, how long it does this move into up? As like you see here, the opposite, this opposite. So it has a, a long distance, which is really longer than this distance. Okay, how long do you think that this this de decrease line? And how how about the long which does this increase has? So almost whenever you have uptrend the market, find a signal which is a buy. When the market is uptrend, you always find a buy signal. Okay, because the decrease the in the decreases are not longer are not longer like you see here okay the decreases are not longer whenever you have a uptrend the decreases are not longer okay you see here okay the decreases are not longer in here you see so so whenever the market has a uptrend whenever the market has a uptrend always find a buy signal always find a buy signal and in here you see the market is changed into downtrend okay okay you see here is a downtrend so what you have here is a downtrend market whenever the market is downtrend you what you what you need to search for is a sell signal because the decrease is longer than the increase because the increase the increase are not really longer you see okay the increases are not longer but you have the longest when the market is downtrend okay that is the basic things when you are a beginner trader the other condition is when the market is ranging and it is a time that you will not do any trade on the market because ranging market is consolidating and there is no chance to get in the market so that's another time that you need to find and I will focus on that on our next presentation I hope this is very helpful to you and to every person who is now participating in our Zoom tonight and this is the beginning of our presentation welcome and I hope this is really very good to you and to me welcome thank you so much very helpful in this